Hello everyone! RPG Kingdom Kid here back with another live stream of Final Fantasy XIV. How are you all doing? It has been a while now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been a while since I've um uh streamed not only Final Fantasy XIV, but it's been a while since I've streamed in general. So yeah, uh guys, uh patch patch 5.55 just came out today. Uh, obviously, if you guys know me, we'll be doing the main story quest. I think there's five if I, from what I've read on the patch notes from what I remember. There's either five or six. So this is probably will not be that long of a stream. But don't worry if that is the case. I might go do the diamond weapon. It all depends. Um, so this may not reach the three-hour stream that we normally do when I do uh, Final Fantasy XIV. But oh well. But anyway, guys, uh, I will... I'm actually going to start streaming again here uh, in a bit. Uh, I will be streaming. And you know, let me just get, let me just, just go where I need to go. Holy crap, there's a lot of people. Of course, that's like what happens when, you know, it's a stream day. Or stream day, it's a uh, patch day. Um, but anyway, guys, I will be starting streaming again. Uh, not this Saturday, I believe it's the next Saturday, the first Saturday of June, which is the 5th. Yes, I will be back to streaming on June 5th and on Saturdays and Wednesdays this time. Um, I'll be streaming two different games, one game on Saturday and another game on Wednesdays. I don't know which one it's... I, I thought, I was like, oh, maybe I'll do Dark Souls 2. We're going to go... I'm telling you one of the games right now. We're going to jump back into Dark Souls 2. And do the DLC stuff. Uh, I don't know if that'll be Saturdays or Wednesday streams. It all depends. They might be a Saturday streams because Dark Souls games are kind of like games where it's like, I don't know like how long it takes till I'm like, oh, this is a good spot to end type thing. So that might be my Saturday streams. And then Wednesdays is going to be a new game entirely. A game I've never played before. A game I've been, I'm kind of excited to play. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Um, so yeah. But of course, guys, I let me just do my intro here. I've released videos every single day at 11 a.m. and 1... Whoop, that's not why I won. At 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, or at 8 a.m. and 2 p.m. if it's a day that I'm streaming. That will be the pattern when I go back to, you know, streaming on Saturdays and Wednesdays. Uh, until Endwalker comes out, which we got a release date. It's the uh, last Tuesday... The 25th? No, 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 no. 23rd. 23rd. Uh, I believe the 25th is Thanksgiving, so... Unfortunately, I, I don't know if I'll uh, be... I should be able to stream that day. 23rd. 23rd. Yep, 23rd is the day that Endwalker comes out. And I believe that'll probably be the next time there'll be story... Main story quest updates. I don't... I know there's... They've... Um, from FanFest, they had... Oh, here's a 5.56 and 5.57. But I don't think those are going to have story quest up there. I think they'll just have like... Oh, here's some, some like... Uh, um, other side stuff that you can do until then or something like that. I don't know. This is a first for me. Uh, being, you know, caught up in 14. So, yeah. Um, but we'll see. Uh, if there are story up, if there are story updates, maybe I'll just stream that Tuesday then. Uh, whenever those, uh, patches come out. We shall see. Actually... Okay, curious about something. What is my current item level at? Okay, 516. Okay, just want to be sure. Um, but yeah, I've actually uh, been starting. Yeah, as you guys see, I've been working on my red mage. I'm still going to keep keep working on that. I should work on like. And then, of course, uh, one, I believe it's the physical ranged. It's either physical ranged or melee DPS. That's what the Reaper class is going to be i'm super excited for that i'm going to assume it's going to be physical range and then of course the sage is the healer so then there's four for each which is actually kind of cool if that's the case so i need to get back into this as well yeah i just need to do a lot of this stuff um but yeah it's a little hard for me i'll be honest it's like i i have been playing this like almost every single day i've been doing my dailies almost because i've been getting the this stuff. I've been getting the algorithm tomes of revelations, even though that don't really matter. Uh, even though I need to, I need to update my legs because whole. Oh. 
When did I get those? <laughs> I don't remember getting the leggings. Oh well. I got them at some point. I thought I still need to update, upgrade those. Oh well. Uh, maybe not the legs, but I need to maybe update the belt, even though the belt's not going to matter anytime soon. To upgrade this. Yeah, my weapon. I finally got a better weapon. I can't remember if I got that before I end streaming or not, but yeah. But okay, I forgot to mention the videos. Uh, currently, guys, uh, the videos that release every single day is po the new Pokemon Snap. We went back into that after Resident Evil Village wrapped up. Uh, I will be taking a break from that. There will be another video coming out tomorrow uh, before I start a new LP. And if you guys know who I am, if you guys have followed this channel for a long time, if you know about the games I have talked about, uh, you probably can guess what the new LP is going to be about. And of course, guys, we have Near Replicant also coming out at the later slot. So I hope you guys have been enjoying both of those Let's Plays. All right, without further ado, let us begin the story. The company we keep. Sup? Ah, Andy, you're looking well. I take it you managed to squeeze in some rest. If you can, ho if you came hoping for tidings from Kryle, I'm afraid we're still waiting. But we do have some odd scraps of news to share. Scrap, she says. Luna Primals have been popping up all over the place, but the Alliance has the situation well in hand, thanks to no small part of Henri Bolda and the others. Meanwhile, talks in the pa Beast Tribes are going even better than expected. Encouraged by Ulda's progress with the Amulja, Grandania has opened negotiations with the Il Ixal, believe it or not. All of which is obviously very encouraging, but when the Teleparole is still out there, it's not as if we can afford to lower our guard. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I obviously I saw the the opening movie, the opening trailer of Endwalker, which is fucking amazing. I loved it so much. Uh, we saw a Xenos' new weapon, which is a scythe, so... Who's here? Begging your pardon, but I come bearing an invitation from the Alliance. The council meeting is due to be held in Alamingo. Your attendance is humbly requested. Ah, we were just talking about the Alliance. May I ask what's on the agenda? I believe the intention is to share news of recent developments and discuss what measures must be, might be taken to combat the Telepori in concert with our new allies. These tribes have also been invited. It is, it is hoped that they will join us in the fight against our common foe. So the Alliance brings all of the peace tribes into the fold at a single stroke. An ambiguous, an ambitious plan, given the delicacy of the negotiations, but may have an ex expedited one, considering the threat we face. Indeed, my lady, and for their part, I told the beast tribes have agreed to attend. Besides, two are present, all the Orzea will be represented. I want to get a better face, because I don't, I'll be honest, I don't like the fact that my face is hidden. But it is kind of cool. To arrange such a meeting must have been quite an undertaking, not only diplomatically, but practically. Pray inform the Alliance that we would be honored to participate. We shall make for Alamingo without delay. But I will bear your answer with it. There and with all haste, we look forward to receiving you at the royal palace. Dum de dum. Well, now that we accept the invitation, who is exactly is going to attend? I move that you and Ashtola lead our con to get. Given how long you have worked and summoning, it is only right that you be present for what promises to be a historic moment. I think we've all played a part in the little endeavor, don't you, Andy? Yeah, sure, whatever. Well, President may rightfully claim a seat, I do quite agree. But by your leave, I believe I shall remain here and lead what assistance I can to coordination for our defensive efforts. I'm not coming either. Aunt Rick will be there, and I'd rather not be interrogated. <laughs> Very well then, while those with a mind to hold the fort get on with holding it, I suggest the rest of us make for Alamingo, shall we? I'll be honest, I can't get the song out of my head that played during the... The, um... The Endwalker opening. Uh, Forge Ahead, I believe is what it's called. God, I want a clean cut of that song. I will buy that song. Just give me the song, damn it. 
Also, I got a new mount, as you can see here. Because they're doing the thing again. Well, boy, howdy! I wonder if a lot of people are doing MSQ. We've been expecting you. Well, some few guests have yet to arrive. The Alliance leaders are all present, which I'll show you in. Yes, I would like to see my girlfriend. Thank you very much. You know, I know we just got together because it was during, you know, free time, but I'd love to talk to my girlfriend still. Hello, 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 hello. I feel bad. Esteemed I guests, <laughs> you honor us with your presence. I feel As bad. I feel like, discuss, hey, does anyone want to take begin. my seat? I can stand. Like, I'm like, Information hey. on our taken brethren you have, yes? Hear it, we would. Seriously, I'd be like, hey, does someone want to just take my seat? I'm fine with standing. Ah! Beyond forgiveness, these featherless ones are. With rivers of blood shall they pay. Freed our people must be. We too would see your kin liberated. But ere we attempt their rescue, we must first find a means to negate the risk of tempering. Without that, we will be unable even to approach the towers, let alone contend with their defenders. If all else fails, I've always found cannonballs quite effective. <sighs> and what of the prisoners? Would you see them slaughtered? Think for a moment. Ponder, consider, think. If Merlwib truly intended to bombard the towers, she would have done so by now. Remember, we came here to find a solution together, did we not? Did we not? Yistola spoke of defenders. I but offered a means to clear a path, should you require it. Given the enemy's capabilities, we will all need to play our part if we are to have any chance of success. Or if any here should give less than their best, it will be to the cost of every living being on this star. A paragon, the Empire, our very gods. How can we hope to prevail against such odds? Hello, hi, I've killed all your gods. So, that our um, foe is formidable, none would deny. But our strengths so I think are I'll be many fine. and varied. In this chamber, I see masters of strategy. Masters of magic, masters of the land, the air, and the sea. And together, there is nothing in creation we cannot overcome. Oh, Emric. Again, seriously, does someone, like... I'm fine with standing. Does someone want to take my seat over there? Granted, you're all kind of big, so... If anything, it's just a... The Sahagin, that would probably be the only one that could fit. I beg your pardon? What is it, Sir Walker? Do not express your passion thus. Ah. A little Chrissy will have deals, perhaps? <laughs> Suffice it to say, I am proud to be counted amongst the Aussie's finest. So let's see if we have Ifrit, Titan, We Leviathan. shall will play our part. Um, we Garuda, Cobalt have not forgotten Alexander. the crimes the Overdwellers committed against us I in the past. I forgot the name of that one. But today we look to the future uh, as allies united Ramu in and purpose. Lakshmi. I'll talk about something that I really like that's going to be coming out in Endwalker when the ah! cutscene's over. Make mock of the Ixel, the Paragon does. Turns kin into puppets. Pits brother against brother. 
Free them from his grasp, we shall. As Patriarch Zadar will attest, the Scions have granted us a means to free your brethren from their thraldom. This boon we will gladly share, that your people might never be enslaved again. We accept! We accept! Praise me! Why am I here? Ah, uh, just three cat people. It's taken it's a, a while, arrow. but I do believe we might be one step closer to a world without primals. Would that mean Philia were here to see it? We still have a long way to go, and we're going to need a lot more porksies. But we're moving in the right direction. A lot more piggies. Sapra. You could. If I may have your attention. There is one other point I would like to raise. As we can all agree, freeing those held captive must take precedence over every other concern. But experience has taught us that none save those with the capacity to resist tempering can hope to enter the towers unscathed. And even once inside, a still greater threat may yet await them, that which we call a primal. Needless to say, if we are to succeed, engaging with such foes can only ever be considered a last resort. And so I move that we seek to prevent them from being summoned in the first place. Okay. Yes! Both prayer and ether are needed for the ritual. Should either one be denied, the summoning would fail. Unfortunately... Indeed. And so we must endeavor to discover the source of the ether on which the process depends. Do so, and it may present a way to halt the summonings, or perhaps even neutralize the towers entirely. A promising proposal. While you are conducting your investigations, however, we will need to remain vigilant, lest the Talophoroi commit further abductions and summon primals ere we have the means to prevent them. To stand a better him. chance of keeping our enemy at bay, we would do well to coordinate our defensive efforts, sending reinforcements to assist our neighbors when needed. We, Amalja, would have been overwhelmed were it not for our newfound allies. But say the word, and we shall come. I see we are all in accord. But what are we to call this proud fellowship of ours? I submit that the honor of naming it should go to the Scion whose brave efforts have done so much to unite Teosia. What say you, my friend? Wait, me? Ah, shit! I would call it, uh, one moment, please. Uh, Grand Company of Erosia sounds so fucking dumb, but go for it. But, but that's the name I can... <laughs> A fine choice, for there is none here who does not love Eosia. Aye. In that we shall ever be united. United in our gratitude for the realm that gave us life. Then let it be recorded that on this day Sorry, the Grand Company of Aeorsia was Sorry, bro. Born. I did it for you, brother. Aww. How long have we dreamed of this moment? And now that it's here, I... Oh, forgive me. Might we speak outside? Of course, bro. 
God damn it. I fucking hate the... The headpiece is the only thing I'm not a fan of when it comes to the near Automata stuff. Well, now that we are out of earshot from the other delegates, I hope you will forgive me if I speak my mind. Let me begin by saying that I have dreamed of this day since the moment I first set foot upon those shores. And that I was as haunted as anyone to see the people of Eorzea pledge their solidarity. Yet even as they under their declarations, all I could think about was the conflict to come. Of the sacrifices that would be made, and the lives lost. Inevitabilities that I still struggle to accept. But at least now there is hope. The formation of the Grand Company of Erosia is the first step, the first of many. Many and more! Oh. Many and more. Oh, there's seeds here. Oh, Elder Seeds here. How might we be of service? I seek myself and those assistance in the matter involving Grindania's neighbors, the Sylphs. I know that you and yours have long kept a weather eye upon the crystal trade. The better to predict the coming primals, and so you will be familiar with the sylphs of the Ascro Con Consortarium. Though their dealings, they have cultivated re relations not only with the city states, but many other communities besides. Communities such as the Beast Tribe. Just so. It is our hope that we may make use of the sylphs' established lines of communication to coordinate the efforts of our new fellowship. Yet there remain certain practical defects differences between a trade consor consortium and a grand camp company. If the sylphs are to perform their task efficiently, they will require the council of one versed in the operational aspects of an armed force. An armed force found with the self-same goal in mind, no less. Why do we all look at Thanker like, are you, what the fuck? The Crystal Braves, yes. Forgive me, Master Afternoon. I know that it was a painful chapter in your life, but the experience may yet be made to serve the realm. In my hubris, I plotted a course for the Crystal Braves, which stretched far beyond the Order's initial conception. One intended to pave the way for the founding of what I intended to call the Grand Company of Eorzea. But my plans all came to naught. Built upon a frail foundation of lofty ideals, the Order was doomed from the start to collapse under the weight of a more worldly interest. And I have no wish to see this new endeavor suffer the same fate. Mayhap I ask too much of you. Not at all. You may count upon my assistance for what little is worth. By your leave, I shall prepare a report, including lists of recommendations drawing on the le lessons I learned from the failures of the Crystal Braves. You have my gratitude, Master Afternoon, and my trust. When your report is ready, pray share it directly with the Sylphs. With your guidance and the earnest efforts of every godly soul gathered here this day, I have no doubt but that our fellowship shall emerge from the shadows of the Tefoil and flourish until we next meet, my friends. Before committing anything of writing, there are a number of people whose thoughts I should like to hear. Former Braves, you understand? Why don't you join me in seeking them out? As if you have to ask. I can't think of an excuse not to, so yes? Thank you. As someone who witnessed the Order's rise and falls, yours would be a reassuring presence. I'll join you. If you're planning to canvass the opinions of your former comrades, be that quick if we share the task of questioning them. And mayhap Graha would be at hand as well. I shall come. I shall accompany Thanker back to the Rising Stones. Between us, I dare say we should dare say we should be able to provide an accurate enough account for the day's events. We should be glad of our company, Graha. Graha. -ha. I shall explain the details on the way. Bye. End of the first quest. Really, still not. Alize. So, what's the plan, brother mine? Before discussing the task at hand, I should probably admit that the report I propose is largely written. Not long after the fateful day in Ulda, I appended a detailed account of the organization's history, from the events that led to its inception to the failings that brought up the cloud to the mines. 
This I did finally as a means to take some sense of responsibility. Never did I imagine that I might later be referred to those by those seeking to form a similar organization. And while I did every attempt to be objective, the account was mine alone. Its events viewed from my singular perspective. For it to be of use, however, I must be broadcast to encompass the components of all involved. Only then can I answer what seems to be the crucial question, namely, why, after the Crystal Braves disbanded, did some members choose to remain with us while others did not? I see. I think the answer will tell us something about the nature of the ties that bind our new grand company together, and that this knowledge might help us to prevent it from falling apart with the bounds are inevitably tested. This is my hope, yes. But the questions I should ask are uncomfortable to some. As the former commander of the Crystal Braves, I doubt that those who abandoned the cause would welcome my inquiries. And Raha and I will and I will just have to try. Meanwhile, the TV could talk to the ones who kept the faith. Fine suggestion. Not care, however, so certain to my former comrades are. Question so keep your wits about you and let us reconvene in Gindania later on. So no objections, I might to begin to speak with Raul and Alini. When we serve the two of them will be attending an intelligence brief in our cast room Orison. Let's take them out there. Oh yeah, the the full version of the PS5 uh, version uh, came out today as well, so... Well, look who it is. And what brings it to here? Wouldn't have anything to do with the big men, would it? No matter of speaking, I have been assigned a task, you see, which I require the assistance of four members of the Crystal Braves. So you want to know why we decided to stick with the signs, eh? Hmm. And an easy thing to put into words, that. As Raoul will attest, I spent a long time agonizing over my failure to alert you to the traitors in our midst. For my ne negligence, I was captured along with many others, and we were powerless to prevent the tragedies that ensued. Now a day goes by that I do not think back to those fateful events. By joining signs, I hope to redeem myself, and I will continue to serve the cause for as long as I am able. But that wasn't my only reason. When we were finally reunited the Rising Stones, you refused to blame anyone but yourself for the fall of the Crystal Blades. And in spite of everything that had happened, everything you had suffered, you took us back without a moment's hesitation. We would not have blamed you had you turned us away, but when you gave us your trust instead, what else could we do but to try to repay it? And that's what? As for me, my own tale, well... I've always felt the signs have something in common with my old crew. The duty of the strong is to protect the weak, that was our creed, and I still strive to live it by, by to its day. But as time's gone on, I've learned that strength comes in many shapes and sizes, from Ore Bolda to Mistress Tataru. We've all got us something to offer. And none of us is doing it for personal gain, because we believe there's more important things than that, things worth protecting, which is what's being a son's all about. I, I am at a loss for words. Thank you, my friends. To hear this from you means more than you know. Forgive me, Andy. Could you... Uh-huh. Give us your thoughts on the Crystal Braves. Why do you think the Crystal Braves ended in failure? Um... I'll ask this one. So let's just get straight to the point with this one. Oh, it's fine. Ideals was something to be proud of, but ideals alone don't make a crew. Right? For every swab who signed up with good intentions, there was another who was only in for the coin, the glory of both. Oh, it was quite a dis desperate bond, and while I will never forgive Ilbrit, the fact that we managed to function at all was thanks to the large part of his efforts. Just a bit he was doing it all for the wrong reasons, eh? Only takes one bad apple, they say, and the Braves had a barrel full of them. Not like the Scions, we might look like a ragtag band of misfits, but deep down we've all got that share of sense of purpose. And why? Because 
Tataru signed out of sift out all the glory hunters before they made it through the door. I see. So all our ranks pairs in diverse range of people each have their own individual strengths. We all unite in purpose. Thank you, my friends. With your permission, I shall make a record of our discussion. Refer to it with drafting my recommendations. Till we meet again. God, I wish I could get these do these quests as my fucking DP as my DPS so I could fucking level up. Unofficial business. Well, I think we have taken up enough of our police time, and I am con con serious the less life affirming testimonies await. Let's make our way to Grindania and hear what the others have learned. Oh, not that many people here. Thanks to the Tatar's ever dependable intelligence, we must track down a handful of former braves without any great difficulty. Some were forthright, others less so. But we had enough to form a picture. I was one in the afternoon. Some of the comments were harsh. I don't imagine, but the opinions are no less vital to my report. I seek to unvarnished truth. Thank you. I will set about adding your finds to my own at once. In the meantime, break. go on ahead to Little Solace and seek out Elder Frixio. I will join you anon. Yeah, it's so, it's like, I'll be honest, it's hard to, like, really try to level up classes without, um, the story missions. But, I guess if you could just keep doing du duties and stuff like that. Ah, oh, welcome, brave one and friends of brave one. How good is it to see you walking once again so soon after the meeting? It's been a while since we last spoke. Should this one perform the customary dance of greeting? Should this one perform the customary dance of greeting? No, no, be at ease. It's true that these ones are delighted in making walking ones dance, but no more. On one, Kani san said the walking ones would be coming to the little solstice. Imperial ones also invaded Sylph lands and abducted many of these ones. So these ones will be glad to bear messages between fighting friendly ones. Tony to hear, Elder. It will require all ones to work in unison to stop the trouble of the ill. Those ones will try very hard, of course, but in matters of war, those ones have little experience. Any advice walking ones can provide must be most welcome. Would be most welcome. Oh, another pretty silvered one haired one. And in quite a hurry, it seems. Elise, you must come quickly. Whatever the matter, Afnon. Don't tell me. You couldn't read my handwriting. What? No. A twin Ada official accosted me as if I was about to set out. Charolian was set, had sent an envoy who was due to arrive in Grandani at any moment. Oh. Envoy? Could be that Kral has managed to sway the form? We shall know soon enough. There's more. The envoy ha has requested that the two of us attend the audience with the elder Sitsia. Really? I can see why they would want Sans to be present, but us specifically? Wait, it isn't who I think it is, is it? It's Daddy! Which in the trailer, uh, Yastola kind of like yelled at us, like, bitch, please. This, I could scarce believe in myself. 
But when I acquired the envoy's identity, I was told that was one Fortunant Louvier. Your father? Well, now, the fact that every member of the form had journeyed here would be surprising enough. But him? Quite. I gleaned from that, from this, that they are taking the matter seriously. Maybe, but why him and not one of the other 98 form members? Unless he volunteered for it. Also, isn't he the head of the form? At least that's what it seems like from the trailer. It has been some time since you last saw your father, has it not? Could be that he concerned for your well-being. Top oh, please. Perhaps. But he has always been reluctant to discuss his work with us. Indeed, whatever we write to our parents, it is invari invariable our mother who replies. Nevertheless, I welcome the opportunity to meet with him after so long, even if it is secondary to his true purpose here. Other freak show, though, though I am to cut our visit short, we must return to Grandania. Pray accept my apologies along with my report. Never mind, there will be time to talk later. This one won't keep walking once for more as it matters. Go! Cool! I know I gave them like I gave them someone like voices like this! But when it comes to her, the arms will be held at the lotus stand where the elder seats here awaits even now. Let's be on our way. Let's go meet Daddy! It's at the Sorcerer's Guild, right? Or the Conjurer's Guild. Welcome more light. Oh, I guess we're still waiting. My friends, I thank you all for coming so swiftly. Word of Master for for Shalon's visit took us quite by surprise. When the Alliance grant, granted Mistress Crowd permission to request Charlene's aid, we did not anticipate a pr so prompt a reply, much less that would be delivered by a member of the form. What the nature of that play may be, we shall soon discover. I have a feeling this one's voiced. It has to be. Hi, Daddy. Elder Seeds here. I thank you for granting me this audience. I am Fortuno Levea, here in my capacity as representative of the Forum. It is I who should thank you, Master Fortuno, for journeying Fortuno. so far and so swiftly. Would that our first meeting could have been under happier circumstances. So. It has been too long, Father. You look well. As do you both. Amelians will be glad to hear that you are taking care of yourselves. How is Mother? She misses you terribly, of course, but is otherwise a picture of health. Don't worry, we'll visit an Endwalker, maybe, probably. Circumstances apart. I mean, we'll be able to go to Charlemagne. I'm grateful so. that our meeting has afforded me the chance to be reunited with my children at long last. And I believe I also owe you thanks for the hospitality you showed my father, Louiswa, during his sojourn in Eorzea. All oh, right, that's right, Louiswa. All thanks we owe to him. In the days prior to the seventh umbral calamity. It was your father's tireless efforts which granted us a means to vanquish the primals. Were it not for him, our strength would have been quite spent by the time the Empire arrived. That Gridania still stands is in large part his achievement. He was a great man.
He would doubtless have been moved to hear you say so. I must confess, however, that I opposed his decision to intervene. And my position remains unchanged. Mm. Yeah, I kind of figure that with with your stole went there, be the like you assholes, history, not to change it. I am familiar. Like with you guys the are just gonna sit there and watch the world end. It is more than that. It is our way of life, who we are. But I came here not to deliver a lecture, but the forum's answer to your request. Charlian will under no circumstances intervene in the conflict between Eorzea and the Garlian Empire. May I ask for what reason the Forum has come to this decision? The final days spell the end not only for Eorzea, but the entire world. The final days? Pray spare me your hyperbole. This conflict is no more than the latest in a series of petty squabbles between yourselves and Garlemald. One in which Charlian will take no part. <laughs> if the final days were truly upon us, we would know. How oh, would you now? Father, you must ask the Forum to reconsider. Mm, I've you known. may feel safe on your little island across the waves. But if you imagine the Telophoroi will leave you be, you are mistaken. They mean to kill us all, themselves included. Alphano is right. We have seen what the enemy is capable of, the lengths to which they'll go. This is no time to turn a blind eye. If Eorzea falls, so too will Charlian. So if you truly love our homeland, you will join us, now. Before it's too late! <sighs> I thought you knew better than to raise your voice to your elders. It seems I was wrong. Wrong to ever let you leave, Charlian. I consoled myself that your time abroad would instill in you some hint of restraint, of discipline. Sorry, they got but for I me. I am their brother. Has made fools I... of you both. Have you forgotten why it was that I so vehemently opposed your grandfather's departure? For all his wisdom, his only solution was to go to war. Death, devastation, ruin. Even those who claim victory are scarred for life. What prize could ever justify such sacrifice? It is the duty of the learned to avert such tragedy. By fanning the flames of war, you forsake all you once held dear. Better fight and fail than wait for the axe to fall. To ignore the plight of those who might considerably save is not wisdom, it is insolence. Is it in your power to save us, refuse it, and you condemn us all? I'm not saying that one, that's bullshit. Uh, better to fight and fail than wait for the axe to fall. That's basically saying I'd rather fight than just sit than die. To ignore the plight of those who might conceivably save is not wisdom. To ignore the plight of those one might conceivably save. Ah, uh, I mean, I know the choice doesn't matter, but I'll go with this one. Sup, asshole. I see your friend shares your misguided ideals. But unlike him, you should know better. Bitch, I've saved the world how many times such now? Barbaric notions. You subvert the teachings of Charlian and place all we have worked for in jeopardy. Alfino, Alize. As of this moment, you shall no longer bear the name of Leveilleur. Oh. What? Father. How you choose to live your lives is no longer my concern. If you wish to walk the path of ruin, 
I will not stand in your way. That's okay. They're already my siblings, so you Master can go Fulchino, fuck off. While Charlian may have no intention of intervening in this conflict, we can still part as friends. Will you not stay and speak with us, that we might learn of Charlian's hopes for the morrow? I have said what I came here to say. Any further discussion would be meaningless. Father! Wait! Don't bother, Alizé! How can you stand there and watch him walk away? How can you let this happen? And what now? D don't blame Alphanone, okay? You both kind of shared a little blame about that little outburst. But don't worry. When he sees that the final days are upon us and that you and that uh, you two and me prevented, he'll be like, oh, please have my name back. Hey, sis. So that's what he came here to say. That we're all fools for having to, to temporary to defend ourselves against the temporary. And as for the rest, like it or not, this is, was the form's decision. To watch from afar while he owes your bands. Father was but the messenger. And as he handed down the judgment, I couldn't think of nothing to say that could possibly sway him. I still can't. To have prolonged the discussion would have changed little, for it is not only Master Forshwalt who must be persuaded, but the form as a whole. Their decision was made ere your father crossed the sea. Nor is it li like to change, and so we shall face the terror through without their aid. Surprise, surprise. Forgive me, but they have no intention of helping us, then why would they go to the trouble of sending an envoy in the first place? Why did they not simply keep their counsel so they are n want to do? Oh, hello. Hold on. Rain, rain, hello. Andy, has Master Forrestal arrived yet? Uh, he already left. Then it is as I feared. My efforts were in vain. I pleaded our case to as many form members as I could, but they flatly refused to discuss the matter. No, that's not exactly true. I should rather say that they ignored every word I said on subject without exception. It was almost unnerving. It could be that they are hiding something from us. That might go some way to explain Master Forrestal's performance. When you said that they would know if the final days are truly upon us, I dismissed it as pride. But what if they generally believe that they know how the world will end, and simply disagree with us about the circumstances? That I don't know. But something tells me that they are not as unconcerned about the Telepio as they claim. If the threat weren't real, why else would they be so standoffish and secretive? I would very much like to delve deeper into this, but I'm afraid I'm exhausted every av avenue of inquiry. Nor have I feared any better with my other mission, researching Hydaelyn and the Astro Ethereal Sea. I tried endlessly the help of experts in the field, but it appears the form has forbidden anyone from cooperating with us. Obstructed at every turn. So it seems, but don't lose heart just yet. For all the knowledge and acquisitions we have between us, we can still find a way forward. To that end, I would like you to all join me here, when the time is right, of course. I'm aware the Maz of Rosa stand on the knife edge, but with your permission, I can at least start making the necessary arrangements. I've always wanted to visit Charlemagne. Please do. Well, there are one or two things to take care of you first. And I've always wanted to visit Charlemagne. Too bad that's not happening until Endwalker, dumbass, which I have already pre-ordered because you get some few, you get some nice bonuses. You get an earring that gives you a 30% boost of leveling up until you get to level 80, so that's helpful with all other classes. And so you shall, Albert, under less than happy circumstances. It may take a while to secure entry for you all, but I'll let you know when everything is in order. Look after yourselves in the meantime, won't you? The speculations give me cause to hope, but if these seeds will bear fruit, I cannot say. Well, it's possible the Charlemans hide some secret truth from us. There can be no certainty that exposure will prompt in them to change of heart. And so for the present, we must need to confirm the plight in which we find ourselves. The former has refused our request for aid, and it falls to us alone to contend with the Telopio. Even with all the Eorzea standing united, there is no guarantee that we will prevail. 
What does Shaman intend to do if you fail? Bruh! Can I- I'm, I want to kind of like smack you in the face, I'm like... I kind of want to smack you off and on, I'm like, dude! You have me! We ain't gonna fail, you have me! Oh! Is this the last quest? I mean, it's called Death Until Dawn, and that's usually the name of the last quest. We shall see. While well, Shaman's stance is intended indeed disappointing, we cannot allow ourselves to be distracted from the challenge before us. There's much and more to be done. I shall begin by sharing the form's response with the counterparts in the Alliance. Meanwhile, I'll ask that the Scions... Grave Titans walking once. Grave, grave Tidings! Grave Tidings walking once! Calm yourselves, my gentle friend. What has occurred? Those who were sent to see Father once sent terrible news. Destroying ones have appeared in Zelirodo. Destroying ones are captive ones are even fighting for godly ones. Father once didn't stand a chance and was sent flapping and squawking. When did this happen? Is it too late for help to help them? Too late, yes. Much too late. But luckily, destroying ones were only passing through and contended on west. But the ones who did not fight were left unharmed. West? That could be Corthas. Corthas. Alright. I'll be honest. Do not. Please don't. You know. Smite me for. Saying names wrong in this game. The lead. The Ishgardians report that the Telopiol. Have emerged from the eastern heights of Corthas. And are marching at speed. Though, though their purpose has yet to be determined. The Continu Flats would seem the most likely destination. Lord Emmerich has already dispatched his forces and requests our immediate support. Tell him we shall, he shall have it. The time has come for the Grand Company of Eorzea to prove its worth. Well, mayhap it is a mercy that we do not have time to stew upon our misfortunes. Come, my friend, let's make haste to Continu. If this is a dungeon, I will do it with people. But well, wait! This one almost forgot! The stray ones were said to be led by a crackling robbed one! This one must see that all walking ones know! Farewell! Ah, oh, Fan Daniel! Fuck you. Fan Daniel? Who else? It was only a matter of time before that grinning maniac showed himself again. I shall have an airship ready to bear you to Cotino. Pray see to your preparations and report to the landing with all haste. Once, my lady, but it's away. I'll be honest, I kind of forgot who was in Xenos's body before Xenos's body went back before Xenos's soul went back into his, but it was Ildabus. Ildabus was the one that was in, uh, actually, can I just I oh no, I'm not gonna teleport there if it's literally just go to the thing. God, I can only imagine how this is gonna look uh, when uh, and Walker comes out, and it would seem for Fordola has come all the way to Grindania to find us. I have explained the situation, but she insists her business is urgent. Aye, and it'll be over soon if you shut up and come with me. Oh, hey. But you're in a wheelchair. Does oh boy. Arnvold! 
I can't tell you how good it is to see you. It arrived a lot sooner than expected, eh? The day I craned my neck up at you. <laughs> Only because you're sitting down. Unless... Oh, boy. Afraid so. The Chirurgeons say I may never walk again. Yep, and this is why Alphanon will become a sage. Is because it'll be a new healing bit and he'll want to heal Aravald. I love that. I love that this is setting up like why he'll be getting this class. Come on, Alfino. Could be worse. Besides, I didn't come here to dampen the mood. Quite the opposite. All I've ever wanted was to fight for a cause I believe in. But my fighting days are over. So I want you to fight in my stead. Be the hero I can't. I am no hero. That's what they all say, though. Mm -hmm. No one ever calls themselves a hero. Even the ones who eat primals for breakfast. It's for others to decide. Hi. He's talking about me, I'm sure. <laughs> Hi. Look, Alfino. You already are a hero. To me and countless others. We see you doing your damnedest to protect us all. And you're not alone, are you? There are people who believe in you, just as you believe in them. You carry the dreams of many, we you carry yours too. Be sure to give your guards to tell off the ill. Some things may have changed, but the adventure isn't over yet. I kinda wanna say that one. Yeah, you know what, I'll say this one. I feel like this was a little more uplifting than out of all of them. I know what's at stake, and how many people are depending on you. But I believe in you. Believe that you'll see it through. That's why I'm entrusting my dreams to you. Like Abba and Owly once entrusted their dreams to me. There was a time when I would have borne the weight of such expectations without a second thought. But now, I know just how heavy that burden can be. Mm. Heavy as the head. To tell the truth, I'm beginning to wonder if I chose the right path. Sacrifices will inevitably be made for the sake of the ideals I uphold. Maybe I am not the person I thought I was. The person you think I am. I wouldn't presume to tell you. But I will say this. In spite of everything, you've come this far. The road ahead might not always be clear, but you've never been one to give up or take the easy way out. <laughs> and everything you do, you do for others. For a brighter future. I'm proud to call you my friend. My friend. Well, I've said my piece, so I'll let you go. I know you've got more important things to be doing. Just give what I've said some thought, all right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I shall, my friend. And we will meet again soon, I promise. My friend. Nothing left for me to do but wave and smile.
pretty narrow view of what it means to be a hero. Do you know that? Ah, she loves you. You think they're I ship all it. forged in the fires of battle? That it's all about being brave and killing villains? I ship them. Alpha No and the others will carry on their fight. But theirs isn't the only one. There are other ways you can make a difference. If you stop feeling sorry for yourself and put your bloody mind to it. Yo, I ship them. There's not much chance of me living the quiet life with you around, is there? <laughs> if you're content to twiddle your thumbs thinking of what might have been, that's your lookout. Then I reckon you've got some fight left in you. And I reckon you might be right. If there's a way I can still help my friends, I'll bloody well find it. Hells yeah, dude. Let's get this bread! Tell me later what was that all about, but judging by the set of Alphano's jaw, it appears you have done some some good. Thank you to the others, I've already left the Rising Stones. And according to the communications office, Amalja and Cobalt forces are also bound for Carlton as we speak. They mean to keep the promise they made in Almingo, and we must do the same by saving as many of their tempered kin as possible. Anyways, the airship is depart. We shall get going. Find during the battle card and also cutscenes will play in sequences. Recommend that you set aside. Okay. Progress through the battle will be saved at certain points. In the event that you are defeated, you will be able to try again for the most recent of those. What? Please know that the other battles associated with other quests or log out from the game process will be lost. Oh, this is a duty fight. Oh, God. Up. I actually love that Estinian is like now a scion. My fellow scions, as I am sure you will have heard, we can expect no help from Charlian, nor are we any closer to discerning the Telophoroi's grand design. And now, our adversary moves against us in unprecedented numbers compelling us to answer in kind. The outlook, in short, is bleak. Yet though our foes are many, and we but few, we may still tip the balance in Eorzea's favor. Of course. We will do what we always do, deal with the ones our allies can't. A less than daunting prospect, judging by your expression. Could it be that you've dispelled your lingering doubts, Alphino? Oh, I doubt I ever will. But as my friends have kindly reminded me, I have come this far, and that must count for something. Can't be good, Alphino. That's what we've been trying to tell you all along. For one so bright, you can be remarkably dim at times. There is such a thing as overthinking, you know. Might I suggest that we continue this conversation after the battle? It would appear that Telophoroi have already arrived. I'll do what I can to cure the Tempered, but they'll have to be incapacitated first. Have care, my friends, for none can say wherefore our foe did choose this fateful field to be our battleground. Whatever may transpire, pray grant him not the pleasure of deterring you.
Oh boy! Death until dawn! Listen up, friends. Taka is sweeping across Katano. As for the Asian, we he was briefly sighted above the battlefield. They have since found She's likely intended to watch the events unfold. Thus far, the movements of the Luna Primals have proven difficult to proceed. Given the police established, fuck. Whether tell if those plans may be, the Primals are our prime targets. Understood. They will not elude the sounds for long. Prepare yourself! Let's keep it on hold! Okay, if this is like it right here, then maybe it won't be so bad. But I've still never been a fan of this kind of uh, mission, you know. But oh well. Hey Ta, you better fucking live through that. He's not right. Yeah, I agree. I like this might just be one giant ploy. Sign spread out across the field. Alizé and Graha took the fight to the telefield. Yo, I would love to have those pieces. Oh shit, I'm playing as Alizé now, which is great because I know of of uh, Red Mages. Sweet. Ah, we only stuck with these.
on me. Ah, there's the moves that I'm used to. Yo, I can't wait till I learn that move. as a red mage. Go, Angelo. There's the asshole. Oh shit, glyphs, yes. How worried should we be? That looks new. I feel like we should be worried. Listen well and judge for yourself. Though I can see aether currents, I had not thoroughly examined those that flow through the heart of Cartano. But now that I'm here, things have become clear. The flats conceal an etheric fluid like in the pillars of the Asmian Steep, but greater in scale, far greater. The glyphs that Van Daniel has conjured reach into its vat very mist, and I believe I know their purpose. Should the Lunar Primal destroy them, it would spark a chain reaction with the potential to obliterate the confluence entirely. The resultant disruption of the flow of Aether would sow chaos among the elements, prompting earthquakes, floods, and temp Tempest large enough to lay waste to the realm.
That would be go so far come if as the little surprise. Must need to protect the confluence at all cost. I hope that this means like this is a spot where I'd be able to continue on. Lunar Odin! Is that Odin? Since I was gonna put my blade against him. Follow my lead. I am played as Urianje! Okay, so that's a healing. That's MP. Oh, this is a healing field, okay. So this is how it's going to be like playing as a healer, I see. Oh, fuck. Interesting. I like. I think this is the first time I've ever played as Uriomje, right? We have now played as everyone besides uh, Grahatal or Grahatai.
I like this. Yo, being, being a healer is fun somewhat. Famous words. Bankridge. Ultimate Zensu Ketsin? Oh god. Where's this gonna put me? I think I could do it on easy. Oh, I almost had it. I almost had it. I almost had it. Like I was able to beat him. I just don't understand what all that stuff means. J is a conjurer, right? No, he's not a conjurer. What happened? Was it because your stroller died? Damn it! I hate the fact that I had him dead. I had him dead. Are you on just true stuff and merges?
Never protect me. Probably being a healer on comp was probably harder than anything. My God. Ah, fucker. He was close to death there again. I don't even know why the duty failed.
Because I was standing there, that's where all the attacks were. Bankred! Fucking bitch! And we're still not even done! We probably have one more set to do with me. I totally remember me. I, I was that'd be stupid they didn't let me play as myself during the last section there.
fucking sucks, Tancred. Stupid cunt! I was too close to Thancred. Uh, I thought I would be able to kill him.
I wish I could see their health, like, on the side. Fucking time! Son of a whore! What in the ever loving fuck, you stupid asshole! Lunar Odin. Lunar Odin is a cunt. Jesus fucking Christ. If I fail this time, I'm gonna just do it on easy because fuck you. Stupid cock. Actually, no, I'm already doing it on easy. I'll do it on very easy because fuck you, you stupid cock. Destroy those things, thank you. You fucking suck.
there he goes. He's doing ultimate Zetsu Ketsin, so... Fuck you! Fuck you! Have we fought Odin? I don't even remember fighting Odin. Meanwhile, Garha, Tai, and Alze prepare to lock swords with Luna Ravana. Oh no. Oh, I'm playing as Garhata now. This will be fun. even worse because we don't have a tank.
Oh, thank God. This one was somewhat easier. Even though we had one less person and not an actual tank. Alright, who do we fight? At the self same moment, you stand shoulder to shoulder without them enough to resolve in Lady Luna Ifrit to lay Lunar Ifrit low. Okay. Ephanon, fucking keep me alive, goddammit. I'll hold off on doing my berserk. My berserk thing until after. Until, unless he does that again. So that'll be a little easier to... Alphonski, please heal the conversions. Please and thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
that not it? What did I say? You are now... Oh, I'm in the Rising Stones now, apparently. Another plan went up in smoke. I am beginning to see why Lord Xenos thinks so highly of you. I'm beginning to see why you're an asshole. Oh. Not that this changes anything you understand. You have merely earned yourself a stay of execution. Why did that dude look like the dude who died in Stormblood? Oh, you moved fast, Alpha Known. Again, he's gonna be. This is what's gonna make him drive him to become the Sage, so he can heal more efficiently. How fair the tempered. We've treated as many as we can, but some were beyond help. Do not hang your head so, brave Scions. Hi, I'm here too. Though not all of our captured brethren could be saved. We are grateful for those whose minds have been restored. You could do no more, and that is enough. So please hold your heads high. been quicker but I'll do better next time Alize did you not just hear the nice reptile man thank you for your kind words they mean a lot a victory at great cost but a victory nonetheless We must stay strong and press on. Isn't that right? E. One battle at a time, we'll get there. To the very end. That Agreed. we will. So then I don't get is oh. The moon, baby! We're going to the moon!
Oh, this is definitely the end. The next story stuff is coming in Endwalker. Yeah, no, next story shit's happening in Endwalker. Where we're going to the moon! Now wait, soak in. Oh my god, motherfucking soak in. He was a beast. Writing some of the songs while he was in camp, like while he had the cancer, and now he's in remission, and that's great. Oh hey, I, I like this art. That's some cool art. I think the second name is the name of the English voice actors for the characters. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Yo, this is awesome. I cannot wait to see what comes next for Endwalker. Oh my lord. Woo! So yeah, guys. Um, I don't know. Yay! Ooh! Oh, I like I like all the characters. The fact that this song is gonna the song the and walk song will probably play during the credits. Is, oh, I can't wait for that. I wonder if anyone else would get like a wardrobe change besides, you know, um, uh, uh, Alphanone. I wonder if everyone else would get like, I know in the trailer they showed everyone was wearing the same outfits that they are wearing now, but still be nice. I find it so weird that like, you know, Alize is all like, you know, friendly during this, but then during the credit, during the opening video of, um, of Endwalker, that trailer, she's like, I can take care of myself, thank you. Like, she's like, ugh, she doesn't want our help or anything like that. I know Alize is like, you know, she's like, yeah, um, somewhat independent, uh, and like, doesn't really want too much of a help. And I get that, but at the same time, it's like, ooh, seems like a polar opposite between the one, between the Alize that we have here and the Alize from that, but, ah, yeah, well. But yeah. Woo. She's just as bad. I'll be right back. I'm going to go to use the bathroom quickly. Uh, you guys just enjoy the beautiful music by Sokin because he's fantastic. And I'll be right back.
lips a prayer to keep us ever by your side an undying promise that we just might carry on in a song pray don't forget us your bygone kin with one world's end as a new begin and should our souls scatter unto the wind still we shall live on stand tall oh yeah so yeah here's the this was 5.3 right yeah, th this is uh, the song that plays during the fight against the Little Bus slash Warrior of Light. It's uh, one of the songs that he composed, Sokin composed while in the hospital with cancer. And he's a fucking beast, man. Like, go watch that clip with Yoshi P at, uh, talking about, you know, being happy that Sokin was able to to join him on stage during the fan fest. Go watch that video. Just talking about it, puts a tear to my eye. It's fantastic. Just so, and how much love that the Final Fantasy um, community has. Like when that was announced, there's that there's a one uh, fate thing that happens where there's a thing that you fight an enemy called cancer, and everyone goes like for Soken. It's like oh, it's so beautiful. Speaking of the Final, Fa uh, Final Fantasy XIV community, when oh god, I, I wish I I can't say his, I can't remember his name, but the the author for Berserk when he passed away quite recently, uh, literally everyone changed into a Dark Knight and just posed with a campfire and everything in uh, tribute to him, and that's been God, I think that could still be going on. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it was, but that went on for days at least, so... It's a crazy thing, the, fi the Final Fantasy community... I feel like it's one of the best communities out there. Uh... Yeah. Hell! I did the the last Yoha raid without um, fixing all my gear, which was a mistake. Hold on a second. Sorry, that was just the, um, uh, that was GameStop saying, like, hey, uh, pre-order that you had is ready to be picked up. You guys know what the day is. You don't know what game it is. <laughs> um, but no, like, yes, but speaking of the Final Fantasy community, this was a mistake on my part. And something I should probably, I should honestly, after every single quest I go through, I should always repair all my gear right away. But I guess I just didn't repair my gear and during the red girl fight, which is about like the, which is the fourth, uh, yeah, which is like the fourth thing you fight. And then there's like two more fights afterwards. Uh, my entire gear broke, <laughs> like all that. So I was like, I had like only 8,000 health and everything kills you right away. And I was like, oh fuck, I'm like, I'm so sorry for all this. And everyone's like, oh, don't worry about it, it's fine. You know, you can keep fighting and all that stuff. We'll still bring you back to life even when you I even said like, don't bother bringing me back to life. I'm just fucking dead weight. And, the and they, like, one of the healers still kept bringing me back. And I was like, oh, how ni like, that was super nice of them. Like, it's so nice that they were able to do that. Grand, I, like, I was like, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm sorry about this. I should have, I didn't notice my gear being this low and everything or I thought like you know I could tempt fate and be like oh I'll be totally fine but I wasn't so yeah I don't know we, we didn't see that uh, art of Zen we didn't see that scene with Xenos there so I feel like they're showing us things that they're going to show us at the end of the credits here but we'll see 
This song's good too. God, the all of like it's Final Fantasy in general. Final Fantasy has some fantastic music. But holy crap, Shadowbringer had a good amount of music. Like, I'll always go back to when you do the duties during Shadowbringers. Or not the duties, but like the dungeons and like the music that plays like during that first build. Like, I can't, I can't even remember how it sounds right away, but it's so fucking good. It's so good. Oh yeah. So, I know I said I would probably do diamond weapon. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, I think this will just be a nice short stream. Uh, I do have something else I need to take care of here shortly, so uh, it'll be nice once you know once the credits are fully done and everything. Uh, I'll be able to do that. So hey, it's a shorter stream, and I apologize for that. But hey, don't worry. Uh, again, I will be back streaming three hours uh, on Saturday and Wednesday, starting on June fifth, uh, where I will be streaming Dark Souls two. We'll be doing the, uh, the, um, the, 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 the DLCs for it. So look forward to that. And then once I'm done with Dark Souls, we'll probably jump into Demon Souls. Which I'm excited for that. I'm super excited to start Demon Souls. Like, I'm see, I hate it. I actually, like, when I, when I first got my PS5, I put in, you know, Demon Souls, and I accidentally started it up, but I didn't do anything afterwards. I was like, took it out and all that stuff, so... Uh, I hate that I did that, and ever since then, it's just been sitting there, taunting me, and I just keep looking at it, I'm like, you motherfucker, you son of a bitch. Um, so yeah. And then, of course, a uh, new stream of a video game I have never played before, but I'm super excited to play, will be on the Wednesday afterwards. So, uh, the 5th is uh, Saturday, the 6th, 9th, on the 9th. Of June, you're probably saying, "Well, why don't you do the first Wednesday of June?" It's like, uh, I'd rather start on a Saturday when it comes to the stream uh, and such. Well, that's of course, you know, it's Final Fantasy XIV, where it's like, "Hey, you can do it right now." I think, and of course, I knew this one would be pretty short. So, duh. God, when like, what sucks with Endwalker is that it's coming out during Thanksgiving week for North America here. Uh, so that means I'll stream it on that Tuesday, but I won't stream it on Thursday because it's Thanksgiving. I might stream it on the Friday after, I don't know, but then I probably would stream on the Sunday after and then it will be back into the Tuesday, Thursday, and, and Saturday streaming uh, days for that. And whatever stream I'll be doing beforehand, We'll probably take a break, maybe, or maybe I'll do, depending on, depending on whatever other games I'm streaming at those times. If I don't wrap them up, if I wrap them up before November, I'll probably be like, all right, guys, no more streaming until Endwalker comes out. And then, uh, like I said, it all depends on what, uh, or how far I am in those games. I'm like, oh, we're so cl we're close to the end. And it all depends, too. Like, obviously, I should be... I, I would hope I am done with Demon Souls when I stream that game. Like, I, I don't know how long it'll take me to... Because I think there was... Was there two or three DLCs for Dark Souls 2? I can't remember. It was one or the other. And then, of course, I'll do Demon Souls, a stream. I know Demon Souls is actually fairly short comparative to, like, uh, the other uh, Dark Souls games. Uh, I don't know if I'll go jump into Dark Souls 3 afterwards then, or maybe do another stream of something else. I don't know. Uh, the other game uh, that I'm streaming, I think it's decently long. I don't want to say it's it's not too, too long, but I think it's at a decent length. Um, so, yeah. And then, yeah, like I said, it'll, it'll all depend on what, uh, where we're at when we end those and everything. So, yeah. Can't wait. Cannot wait. Uh, so yeah. Then yeah, like I said, I don't know what I'll be streaming. I, I'm getting very close to the um, anything to the edge. Uh, I'm getting very close to the uh, 
to my 100th Let's Play on the RPG Kingdom Kid channel here. As a matter of fact, we'll be starting number 95 on Thursday. Uh, so, look forward to that. Uh, I, I do have a plan. I, I, I actually know what game my 100th one is going to be. While everything else in between is kind of up in the air. Save for like, uh, at least one of them. At least one of them is not up in the air. For you. I was like, okay, that's definitely going to be something. And then, uh, actually maybe two of them. It all depends on, on some things though, so, yeah. But I hope we can get to that before... Uh, let me think here. Uh, I know some of those games won't be too long. I plan to LP. Uh, so this is 95, 96, 97, 98, and 99. Yeah. It all depends. It all depends. But uh, hopefully I can get to them before ideally August? I don't know. Actually, I have to look at what's coming out in July again. But we'll see. Is this me or are these crats going a lot slower than normal? Oh shit. I can just imagine the crats for Endwalker are prob Endwalker is probably gonna be longer than any of these other credits that we've had in the past. Come on, I gotta get the one trophy that they added uh, for this. Yo, that's gonna... Ugh. I don't think I'm ever gonna platinum the PS5 version of 14. Well, I can platinum it, but 100% is a different thing. Especially since all... Basically, all I have to do with all the expansions is just do the Savage Mission. And I'm not looking forward to that. Oh, I completely forgot to talk about that. I mentioned this during like one of the, like at the beginning of the, of the uh, stream somewhat. I am so sorry. I got distracted by the story. Um, but the Alliance Raids, you know, basically what like the Yohar thing that got added for Shadowbringers is. What they're doing for Endwalker is going to be a... Uh, original one that will dive more into the 12 the uh, 12 gods of Eorosia or whatever they're called and I honestly I like that I like that a lot I cannot wait to um, to uh, to del dive into that I can't wait there we are now we're like basically it. have a yeah. So whenever I decide to do my crusade of platinum, uh, Final Fantasy VII OG, Final Fantasy VIII, Final Fantasy IX, 10, nothing with 11, 12, and I don't know if they'll have a 13 in here. We'll see. Um, oh, yeah, save the queen. I might do the save the queen stuff, but I don't know. I haven't touched any of that stuff. Um, then 13, if they release a thir thing of 13... And then 14. I might just do the PS4 version of 14 then. In order to be it in a nice... Uh, ev uh, a nice line of like... there, it is. Like I did with Kingdom Hearts. I was like, you know, Platinum Kingdom Hearts 1, Chain of Memories 2, Birth by Sleep, 100% uh, Dream Drop Distance, 100% 0, uh, 0 0.2, and then Platinum uh, 3, so... <laughs> yeah. Can't wait for that. Lost Judgment. Can't wait for that game to come out, too. In all Final Fantasy XIV. Mm -hmm. So, you know, kind of going back to, like, I do at some point want to do a whole production of Platinum, all the Yakuza games in a row, like I did with Kingdom Hearts. Starting with Yakuza 1, Kiwami, Kiwami 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then, like, a Dragon. But by that time, who knows, like, a Dragon 2 could come out. Like, and now I'm like, should I involve Judgment and now Lost Judgment? <laughs> Oh, Emrek!
I trust you all enjoyed a comfortable flight aboard the Pride of the Ishgardian fleet. We swore the Bonanza had been towed to a nearby location to be retrieved at your convenience. You have thought of everything, Lord Emmerich, and may I say how much I appreciate the hospitality you afforded us on our way home. Think nothing of it. Our destination lies in the same direction. And it afforded me the perfect opportunity to learn how my errant friend had been since last he took his leave. Em uh, Estinian, who would seem you have finally found a place to settle down. I merely grew wary of wandering the far east. Return the most serious matters. Well, to let the all have been driven from Cotineau, tis like the bulk of the forces yet remain. On the event of the Grand Company of er er Erosia's first joint military operation, however, I'm confident that we have the potential to meet such threats head on, even without the aid of you and yours. Cool! You guys are basically learning how to fend for yourselves. As such, while forces keep the Tarathio at bay, I would ask that you apply your talents to the task of neutralizing the towers. A sensible diversion of labor. While the towers remain, so too will the threat of the lunar primals. And given our experience in the field of atheology, we are better qualified to find the solution. That we are, especially should it happen to lie beyond the Alliance's domain. There is a time and a place for formal investigation, of course. But certain seekers are wont to hide where only enterprising individuals may venture. Not agree more. There are none better suited for the task, nor any upon whom I would rather rely. On behalf of the Alliance, I thank you. I look forward to receiving any information you are able to uncover. And with that, I must take my leave. Should you have any need of assistance, pray do not hesitate to ask. Fare you well, my friends. Bye, Emmerich! I love Tatari's little mm, pitsy. I confess I had hoped to be able to study the towers more closely, but vital as they plainly the are to the Tower of Theo's plan, if we can discern their ultimate fact function, we will be one step closer to understanding our enemy's grand scheme. Should we succeed in neutralizing them, of course, it is all but certain that the Tower of Theo will mount an all out invasion. And it will begin. The one who awaits at the heart of the chaos will come for us, for you. But in the end, our true nemesis may be a calamity to end all calamities, the final days themselves. Yes, all right, Alpha No, we need a plan, not importance. As Thancred has elaborately pointed out, we are in a position to seek information from all manner of places, at least, not least. Charlene. Quite a crowd, the form has been more secretive than ever of late. While this may be relative to the appearance of the Tarathio, that remains a matter of speculation. But one thing is clear. The form is determined to keep us from discovering the truth. Master Forishall's performance at the Lost Lotus Stand was enough to convince me of that. The matter about further investigation, I do hardly concur. Nor can I think of a more promising place to look for answers we seek on the matter of the Talos. Charlene and Hoth ever been the wellspring of Atheologia knowledge. I care not where we go, here or there, my lance will be ready. And one of you, Andy, might you be persuaded to join us? Plot a course for Charlemagne! It means I can have words with Forswant. I have words for him! None of bookworms and bureaucrats? Have we no other choice? It means I can have words with this asshole! How dare he talk to my siblings! Only after I do. If he and his friends of the form think we'll, we'll leave them alone if they ignore us, they're in for a shock. It appears we're in agreement. We have but to wait for crowds to secure the necessary permissions. In the meantime, there's a matter I would investigate. Does it involve tall structures? By strange coincidence, it does. At present, I have only had a creeping suspicion, but with your help, I will soon find out whether my fears are warranted. We'll just have to wait for Crow to to give us means of going there. It will take about six months. You have learned the emotes. Shush.
Meanwhile, in the garlic capital of bullshit. This might end up being three hours because I fucking died so many times. There he is with his scythe. I think he became becomes a reaper, it seems. So he is the other new class, while well, Alpha Gnome will become the uh, sage. Those Aorzeans certainly are a stubborn bunch. Though I suppose you knew that already. My plan to redirect the ether from Cartano came to a rather less than satisfactory conclusion. It was, in many respects, an abject failure. Which does, of course, raise the question of where we are going to procure the requisite amount. The obvious solution would be to draw on resources a little closer to home, though that would require our dreamer to dream a trifle more deeply. So be it. The dreamer will not complain. Who's the dreamer? Then let us begin the preparations at once. With the gateway of the gods complete, all that remains is to gather the necessary ether, and our prize shall be within reach. The time has come to fulfill your heart's desire, my desire! To relieve those wretched creatures of their meaningless existence! While I await you, I shall drink a sea of souls and gorge myself. Upon the darkened moon. Then you shall come to me, all roiling rage and rancor. And the stars shall bear witness to our final contest. As I thought, the ethereal currents have been disturbed here too. It was the same in Thanalan. Make that every location we surveyed. What you guys talking about? And the strength of each current has diminished dramatically. Far more than could be attributed to a natural occurrence. Tidings bringest thou from Dravania. We took a number of readings, and noticed that the closer we were to the tower, the lower the etheric density became. In short... The towers are drawing upon the land's ether, which would explain how they were able to carry out the summonings. Our allies must be informed of this. We should return to the Rising Stones and have Tataru relay our findings to them. He 
Hear me. Hear me. Ah. Hear me. Hear me. Whoa. Hydaelyn? Darkness comes. And with it. And with it. With it. The end. The end. The fate, the fate, the fate of the star, of the star is, in is in your hands. hands. Everything all right back there? Oh, yeah. At solemn dawn, grim purpose shines. It gazes towards tw cast moonlight sky. Thus does our final curtain rise. Your steps to guide what end betters. End Walker. Was that dark side? Was that called dark side of the moon? Oh, under the darkened moon. Oof. This game. This game. My fucking game. Oh. Oh, Lordy. Oh, Lordy. He coming. He coming. But, guys. That is going to do it. For this stream of Final Fantasy 14, I hope you guys have enjoyed this stream. Uh, while they watch it live, they're archived here on YouTube. I am excited! Oh, so excited! I def like I have five, I have six months basically to I don't know do a lot of shit. Maybe get my DP at my uh, Red Mage DPS all up to level 80. Maybe get my uh, yeah, because that'd be great. If I could get a DPS to level 80, I feel better about that. Um, a healer, I think I'm just gonna wait for, uh, the sage to come out, so. But anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching this. Again, whether you watch it live, the archive here on YouTube, I always have a blast, uh, streaming this game for you guys, so. Yes, uh, next stream will be June 5th for Dark Souls 2. I hope you guys will join me for that. Um, my... Nephew's baptism is happening in July, I believe. I think that's what we talked about. So I will obviously be taking a break when that happens. But hopefully, you know, I I at least wrap up Dark Souls 2 before then. I, I hope I wrap up Dark Souls 2 in June. Um, but we'll see. But again, thank you all for watching. And look forward to my coming back to live streams. Like I said, June 5th, I'll be back with Dark Souls 2. And uh, that following Wednesday, I will be back with a new video game that I have never played before, but I'm super excited to play. And I hope you guys are excited as well. All right, guys. See you all uh, next time. And, of course, guys, keep on watching the videos that I will be All right. Thank you all again. And I'll see you guys in November for Endwalker. When we get back to Final Fantasy XIV, like I said, I'm still going to be streaming and release videos. But Endwalker fourteen. 14 is November and walk. All right. Later.